Jasonia acá. Eh, aquí está el conflicto de Irlanda del Norte. En gloria y majestad, digo yo, porque es un trabajo, pero pensemos que es un trabajo que tomó cuatro años completos, porque se trabajaron las distintas partes, pero lo más interesante de este trabajo, que, que ya no son las partes típicas de un, un cuadrado y otro cuadrado, sino que... Eh, Belma, es de Neymo, de Facilito. Belma había visto las arpilleras y entonces incorporó un poco la idea del merge, de, la, de, la, de ponerlos en conjunto. Y a mí me gustaría, no sé, Sonia, you say a few words and I translate for you? Ok. Eh, yo conozco a Sonia muchos años de trabajar en el tema con víctimas y entonces la animé a que venga porque ella facilita, ella está a cargo de la organización, pero que ella estaba cercana a la facilitación de este proceso. Um, perdón, no habla español. Uh, the quilt starts at the late 60s. Comienza a fines de los 60. Um, the troubles in Northern Ireland, the conflict started in the late 60s. El conflicto comenzó a finales de los años 60. And you can see the cracks in the wall. The children are playing together. Eh, se ve ya como se va resquebrajando la, la sociedad en, la, en los muros, pero los niños todavía juegan juntos. And the participants have chosen pictures from themselves as children. Y las participantes, el participante buscaron imágenes de ellas cuando eran ni niñas. For example, this is actually the, my co-worker, Velma. This is the facilitator of her child, with her sister. And the concept of the quilt is that a lot of things happened afterwards, and it all finished with the Good Friday and the Peace Agreement. Sigue los eventos que van marcando el conflicto hasta llegar a la firma de del Good Friday, del Domingo del Domingo Santo, del Viernes Santo. As you know, Wade is a cross-community organization. We are working with everybody affected in the conflict. Es una organización que trabaja con los con los dos lados del conflicto. Trabajan. Tra eh. And we have to be very balanced. So there will be the same amount of British flags and Irish flags. Tienen el mismo número de banderas. Um, these are the cage blocks. This were is a prison, a security prison in Northern Ireland. Esta es la base de lo que era una de las prisiones de alta seguridad en Irlanda. Mainly Irish Republican prisoners, but also British loyalist prisoners were in prison there. Prisioneros de ambos lados estaban ahí. This, for example, in the workshop I spoke people about it. This is one made by one lady whose um, brother was a police officer and he was killed. Este, este sector fue hecho por una mujer cuyo hermano fue asesinado por alguien de la vida. So this is many years ago. His son at the stage was just born in hospital and his son is now, I think, 30. El hijo recién había nacido y ahora tiene tres. Um, this one, the Civil Rights March in Derry, Londonderry, was an important event to start the troubles. Aquel fue el, el evento de la marcha de los derechos humanos que fue uno de los detonantes del conflicto en Irlanda. Catholics and Irish people at that time had, didn't have the same right as Protestant people. Los, las personas católicas no tenían los mismos derechos de los protestantes. And it was in the late 60s, the same time where African American people fought for their rights. Era al mismo tiempo que se luchaba por los, por los derechos en, 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 América, en América Latina. Over in France, the students los went movimientos to estudiantiles. Um, this is an explosion in a bus station. La 
explosión en un terminal de buses. Many people died. Um, this tower is in a very republican area in Belfast, the Divis Tower. Es eso, una torre de un bloque de edificio de, de, de donde viven muchos republicanos. And it represents the, um, the demonstrations and the, uh, from the Irish and Republican people at the Catholic area. Y muestra sus su protestas y sus demostraciones en su área. One of the participants was a nurse. She worked in the Royal Victoria Hospital. Una de las participantes era una enfermera que trabajaba en el hospital Royal Victoria. And she did a lot of research, research to find out, for example, when they did the quilt, um, it was 30 years later, really. Uh, this incident was 30 years later. And she had to check in books and watch television serials of the time to see how the nurses were dressed at the time. Se hizo mucha investigación para poder representar los hechos tal como fueron en su tiempo. Entonces la persona que lo hizo miró los diarios de la época para ver cómo, cómo se vestían las enfermeras en ese tiempo. So there's much, much research in it. And this lady, it's a big girl, small girl. Mm -hmm. um, she was in a bomb explosion. Esa fue una chica que estuvo, eh, se vio afectada por una bomba. And she also worked on the quilt. Y ella también trabajó en el cuento. She has now a child on her own, that's nice. Ahora ella tiene una niña chica. And uh, she was always telling people, I said this before to most of you, that, um, that she was in a car accident because she was too embarrassed to say uh, she, was, uh, she was in a bomb explosion. Sí, ella siempre contaba que estuvo en un accidente de auto porque le daba vergüenza decir que había estado afectada por una bomba. And after she made this quilt, she was very proud, and now she can say, you know what, I was in a bomb explosion, and it wasn't my fault. Um, this is a very, very Republican funeral. You can see the, um, the military look. Um, and maybe as a, as a contrast, in Northern Ireland, um, there is a parade of Orangemen. Mm -hmm. Orangemen are very, very conservative, British, um, very, very conservative mm -hmm. um, people. And all the participants work together on everything, and they always tell the story that that they, um, the wee shoes, that they always lost the wee shoes of the Orangemen on the floor and couldn't find them. A que habían perdido los zapatos de los colonos. <laughs> and maybe as the last one, this one is a typical one, tears and feathers. If people in the communities, in the working class communities, misbehaved, maybe antisocial behavior, maybe started an argument with somebody from the IRA or the UDA on the, the loyalist side, both sides, they were actually placed outside and the paramilitaries took on the role of police and put a chair on their head and you know they, they survived but they were shamed. Cuando ocurrían las comunidades tomaban justicia por su cuenta. Entonces cuando alguien se comportaba mal en la comunidad, los tomaban los paramilitares y los los les hacían sentir vergüenza y les pegaban plumas o le ponían cosas y los exponían a la comunidad. And this is a very last one, maybe this one. One of the participants, she did this one. She was always saying, oh, I'm not much affected by the troubles. She actually came to support a friend. Una participante que decía, yo no fui muy afectada, pero venía a acompañar a una amiga que estaba participando en el grupo. And this is actually the shop of her parents. El negocio de sus padres. And as you can see, everybody was affected because the police is there and get some people, so she was frightened too, all the time. Sí, entonces, si bien no había perdido a nadie en la familia, pero había estado afectado su, su trabajo. Entonces. Muchas gracias. <laughs>